MRI is one of the uh, imaging modalities that we use that do not use ionizing radiation. MRIs use a very powerful magnetic field and RF pulses. Uh, and, and these forces actually act on subatomic particles in your body uh, and causes them to give off very weak signals that are picked up by the scanner. And it's those signals that the computer uses to build images. So one of the advantages of MRI over x-rays or CT scans is that there is no ionizing radiation. So the risks associated with radiation don't exist in MRI. Um, one of the disadvantages of MRI is it tends to be expensive, it tends to be time consuming, it takes quite a bit longer frequently to do an MRI scan than it does to do a CT scan. Um, there are also, uh, e each of those modalities, MR versus CT, has strengths and weaknesses. There are things that MRI is very, very good at. It's very, very good at imaging the brain. It's very, very good at imaging the spine and the spinal cord. Um, CT is very, very good at imaging the brain, but it doesn't show some things as well as MRI does. It's very good at imaging the bones of the spine, but not so good at Im imaging the spinal cord itself or the intervertebral discs that can press on the spinal cord or on uh, nerve roots. So depending on what the issues are, what the questions are that need to be answered, um, CT may be better or MRI may be better. Uh, depending on the situation. Well, there are, there are people who are afraid of particularly the MRI scanner, not so much the CAT scanner, and it usually has to do with claustrophobia. And that can often be dealt with with uh, mild uh, anxiolysis. Uh, uh, the typical medications that people take for anxiety can help very much with uh, claustrophobia. There are some people who simply can't get an MRI scan because they're too claustrophobic. Some people who are very claustrophobic also have problems with CT. Uh, the reason that, that that's a problem for fewer people is just that you're, you're not as confined in a CT scanner as you are in an MRI scanner.